Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video we're going to break down the new Field Armor Striker Series from Icon, which is brand new for 2011. Now, the big changes, the, the Icon for a couple years now has had this Field Armor Series, which is really for a lot of sport bike riders that like to mix and match the type of clothing they're wearing, sometimes like to go without a jacket or with casual clothes, but want some, want more protection than what's offered by, you know, regular everyday street clothes. So the Striker Series has a, has a chest protector, and an elbow protector, knee protector, it has hips, there's also some lace stuff available. But the big change for 2011 is now it's all CE rated. In the past some of it was CE rated. It was definitely more protective than being bare skin. But what they've done this year is they've incorporated a new type of armor which we've seen in some other key brands called D3O. It's molecular armor. It's flexible. It's comfortable. This is actually a hip pad. But what happens is upon impact it becomes instantly rigid, absorbs the shock, and disperses it evenly through the pad. So this molecular level armor is really one of the next big things in motorcycling. You know in years past we've seen this in the super high-end European brands in super high-end adventure touring type outfits. Now it's starting to make its way down into some of the sport brands, into some more accessible brands, and also just some gear that's not as crazy expensive. So the D3O armor is a big deal. Also, everything I'm going to show you in this video today is also CE rated, which is a big step up. So let's start with the Icon Striker Chest Protector. $110 comes in a men's version, comes in a women's version, and also comes in mil-spec yellow and mil-spec orange for 140 bucks. Now notice, let's start with the front here. Hard chest molded plate here. It's plastic, it's thermoplastic. You're gonna have a tight mesh around it with a nylon weave, so it's gonna stay together. It's gonna be abrasion resistant. On the side, you have full adjustability. Patrick, turn and face that way and lift your arm. So on the side here, you have full adjustability for the front or for the back. So for you guys, it comes in two sizes. I believe it's um, extra small, small, medium, and then large through double or triple X. Turn backwards for me. Notice the back here. And this stuff is built to wear under a jacket. So if you have a motorcycle jacket that has armor in it, you're not going to double up the armor. But if you have a motorcycle jacket or a street jacket that doesn't, or a regular jacket that doesn't have any armor, this, this can be low profile enough as you cinch it down. Notice you have cinches across the shoulders. So whether you're a more uh, average build like Patrick is or I am, or you're a big dude with a huge neck that's, that's totally jacked, um, you can get into this stuff. There's a ton of adjustability and there's two sizes. Now this this uh, armadillo style accordion back panel is hard plastic but then it's backed with the D3O armor. So again CE level 2 on the back here it's going to be back, back specific for this guy. Turn back around for me Patrick. So now let's move on to the elbow. The elbow is going to be 70 bucks. Comes in a couple sizes. The elbow has a it has three panel articulation. It also has the hydro dry lining. I have the elbow in front of me. $70 comes in a set of two using the D3O armor for comfort and for durability and CE rating behind it. And then notice you have a sleeve that your arm goes through at the front and the back, and then it's the hydro dry lining on the back here. That hydro dry lining is the same material that you're using inside the Icon helmets. It's wicking, it's antimicrobial, it's going to keep you cool, it feels like a micro, micro fleece is very comfortable. Put your arm down here for a second, I want to show one more thing. The other thing, actually I'll show it on this guy, it'll be a little easier. The other thing here is that notice that we have on the Icon, you can see these little scissor marks. Sorry, we got some fuzz connected to this guy today. We have some scissor marks, and what happens is you can see it more clearly on the knee armor as I get into this. But depending on the size, you're going to basically, the first time you put this on, know how, hard, know how far you have to cinch this every time to wear it. And you know, you, so if you cut off the excess, you don't want it flopping around, just take a pair of scissors and trim it down. It's a nice adjustability function. It's, it's, a, it's a detailed piece there. Moving on from the elbow to the knee, same kind of thing. These are built streamlined enough to be able to wear under a jacket or under a pants. Or if you're just wearing shorts, you can rock this knee armor. It's comfortable enough. It breathes. So you have these panels for vent venting on the back. You have the hydro dry liner. There's no sleeve here, but notice the articulation across the back. It's a three panel system. D3O back throughout, so it's going to be CE rated. And again, a three strap or a two strap system, and you have the connector strap across the top. It's going to give you ample protection up on your patella, your kneecap, come across the top of the knee as well. Again, a couple sizes, 95 bucks. The last piece we don't have Patrick wearing here, but we have these striker shorts. Basically, an undershort to wear under a pair of jeans. Hip protection is really important, especially in a low side crash. You come down right on your backside, right on your hips. There's actually two types of protection here. One is going to be the D3O on the outside, and the other one, there's a pocket here. If I turn this guy inside out, you're going to see it. So the pocket on the inside also has a temper foam panel behind it as well for further protection. And notice that it's a lightweight mesh. It's Aramid reinforced. Aramid's basically Kevlar, so it's going to be strong and abrasion resistant, but these guys are 70 bucks, come in a few sizes. These are new for 2011. It's the Icon Striker Shorts. So there you go. If you're the type of guy that likes the flexibility, likes to mix and match the outfits they're wearing on their motorcycle in, in different types of climate, different types of riding scenarios, 
pick up the Icon Striker Series field armor at, you know, for, for a reasonable amount, and it's going to give you a good sense of protection, the ability to protect yourself in different situations much better than street clothes would. Thanks for watching RevZilla TV today. My name's Anthony. You can find this stuff at RevZilla.com slash icon. As always, if you have any questions, shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Or, and, and always, this stuff's over 39 bucks. It ships for free. If you get the wrong size, send it back to us. We'll exchange it for free. And it's over $100. A few of these pieces are the chest armor. You're going to earn money back in TeamZilla Cash towards your next order. It's our way to help you save in the long run. Thanks for watching RevZilla TV today. We'll see you next time.